Yeah, uh, in each area, there are codes. For example, if I, I work with referees, there are some specific codes. Mm. If I work with female football, other yep. national teams, physicians, physical coaches, physiotherapists, and each area has uh, their codes. So when you work with different stakeholders, when you work with, in different areas, you have you have a, a better overview, a better landscape about the yeah. football. So the most important type uh, tip, for example, that I could give for other people is to understand, to try to understand more areas possible be prepared for the next level, don't lose opportunities. And this is the most important. And net networking, for example, I, I'm, I've am i been studying a lot not about networking. How can I have powerful connection with the other, right. uh, other, other, other people, for example, what, what I should do before I, I, I met, I meet this, 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 the, the, the person, for example, during the meeting, after. So there are some strategies to have power, powerful connections. So the, the in general is to try to understand the general yep. and when possible be a specialist expert in one area or two, maybe. <laughs> no, exactly. and and. It if, if you wanted to like, I guess, uh, you know, talk a little bit more about, about like those tips, you know, for especially for students so that are kind of like, you know, looking to get a career in the football industry and, and working for, you know, maybe some of the leading organizations you were talking about, you know, obviously networking and and kind of like, you know, trying to understand all all aspects of, of the industry and, and what, yeah. what were, I guess other tips um, would you like to, you know, bring out and sort of like say, because I mean, like, you know, it's, it's every, a lot of people want to work in the football industry. It's very competitive. Uh, and, and how do you kind of, you know, help yourself stand out a little bit? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For example, I'm 40 years old. Yeah. And if I could give an advice for Diogo Neto, uh, 30 years ago or 25 years ago, I could say, Diogo Neto, go ahead, uh, studied a lot, uh, don't lose opportunity, no, um, all opportunity that you have, go ahead, uh, the world change, so change quickly and be prepared and most important, uh, I'm Christian, for example, uh, Ole Martin, I believe in, in uh, I believe in Jesus, for example, and this yeah. changed my life. So for me, this is one of the most important advice that I could give and, and, and keep calm because the, the world, the sport industry change. And right. one time you will be in a high level, sometimes no, but keep calm and still working, still studying, still being prepared because the chance will come. So be prepared.